Let's see. So this is a uh, Russian dead block. List the dead block. Close testing 13.4, new map, repair dock, return of the wall pack, and other new features. With the release of version 13.4, a new map will appear in the in the game, Kamchatka. Its appearance is inspired by the relief and landscapes of this peninsula. Moreover, it will be the first map on which we'll use the new cloud rendering technology. Oh shit. So this the dynamic clouds, you know, we sort of did on that. New map. It kind of reminds me of that low tier map. What is it called? You know, the one with, with the caps here and here and here and here. And then every, every DD goes into the middle and kills themselves. Whatever it's called. Yeah, the dynamic clowns. Huh. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. A new map. Oh, but this, this one was like much larger. This was like two brothers, but except for two, it's four brothers. The map is intended for levels of tier 7 and 10 and super ships. So, so tier 7 to super ships. Three modes will be available. Standard battle superiority with 3 and 4. Yeah, yeah, look, this is the not two brothers, but four brothers. Holy shit. Four brothers. God damn. The old holy. Every cap here looks like suicide. This is going to be interesting. Holy shit. God damn. God damn. Okay, I'm looking for. See, it's crack, but I'm looking forward to it. New maps with highly detailed textures. We'll work, continue to work on improved visual components of our game. Why can't I click this? Have I blocked some of these components? No, I can do it like that. Okay. Interesting. Update 13 will be adding highly textured details to the Sleeping Giant and Archipelago. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so new maps, new visuals, and the new cloud technology in that one. A repair dock. In version 13.4, players will have access to a new mechanic for obtaining ships. The repair dock. Repair materials, structures, and, and blanks will appear in the game. The first, one, first ones are tied to a specific ship. The second ones are common to all ships of the same level. Okay, you can be obtained for participation in various activities. As soon as you receive your first repair materials, you will have a repair dock in your port. Clicking on which will take you to ship repair screen. There we will see the, all the ships for which you have designs and for which you can begin repairing. To repair the ship, you will need to fill out a special progress bar. For this, repair materials are used, and at least half of this progress must be filled with structures for the remaining part ship blanks of the appropriate level can be used. To fill 1% of a scale, you will need one design or 10 blanks. When the ship is repaired, it appears in your port and is ready to go in battle. So what this, what this appears to be is uh, a method to earn premiums by playing the game, I assume. It's, it's like Dockyard. But but you, it's not yeah not time gated, and it looks like so far no way of buying these. I don't know if they'll monetize it. I would assume they would somehow, but it looks like another way to earn premium ships. It looks like another way to earn premium ships. I can't complain about that. You can only repair ships at the dock that you do not already have. If you receive designs for a ship that you already own, they will be replaced with blanks. Okay. Oh, God. See, we went from... Wow! Wh what a great idea, Lester. You sure seem to know what the player base wants. And then we go... <laughs> super summaries, man. But the... Apparently EU is doing super subs as well now. So, I'd like to pretend like only Russia would be dumb enough to do this, but sadly Wargaming is doing them as well. Apparently they're doing super subs as well, so. Yikes. Yikes. Deals of the century, I don't even know. Oh, is, is this going to be um, the Kitakami type? Salvage for victory. Oh, God. But you know what? If people spend money on this, a oh, fucking hell. In order of their arrival, Operation Wolfpack will temporarily return. This time it will be possible to take part in tier 8 to 10 subs and super subs. <laughs> Have fun. I hope all the subs play the operation and not play the rest of the game. You're more than welcome to go to your operation, boys. Enjoy. The operation has undergone virtually no changes. Jesus. No one's gonna play it, then. 
because it was so fucking boring. I pl I actually played that back when it came out first for testing back when the servers were still like um, merged. Uh, I played it and it was so boring. I was like, holy shit, the submarine design sucks. This is the most boring gameplay I've ever experienced. I don't think anyone is going to play it. Okay. Enjoy. Changing alternate shooting mode. In version 13.4, we will change the mechanics of the series of volleys, or the burst fire. It will become similar to the drum mechanic from World of, World of Tanks. Now, instead of automatic firing, players will manually fire each salvo in a series. Thanks to this, there will no longer be situations where the entire series did not hit the enemy if the wrong lead was taken. It will be possible to adjust the aim after each shot. Jesus. I mean, the thing, pro problems with volley is that ships, some ships have volley that shouldn't have volley. Because, like, the problem isn't volley fire itself, it's that some ships, like Conde and Annapolis, are already overpowered without the buff. They didn't need it, but they have that shit on top of it, and it's so it makes it even worse. And now it's even stronger, which is gonna in turn make those ships even stronger, so. It's kind of fucked. And this shows how many salvos you have left in each turn. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. In version 13.4, we will improve the switching of ships in port. It will become smoother. Ships will visually dissolve on the screen, but itself will no longer darken. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Eh, small visual thing, but why not? In addition, we will add special confirmation screen to open all containers. Yada, yada, okay. Unification of the cost of premium. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're making it so all the ships cost the same. So, so there's no more uh, variations. Like, some ships will become more expensive, so this will become cheaper. All steel tier 10s are now 30k. All coal tier 10s are now 250k and so forth. Hmm. Disabling the 32-bit game client. Yeah, makes sense. Clan battles. Polar bear. Okay, what are they doing? On EU, the polar bear thing, they added support consumables. On Russia, they are adding the fog of war. <laughs> the battles will take place in the arms race. Bro, they're both... They're both so uh, I'm pretty sure competitive is just collapsing on like every server, and they're also desperate to get something done. They're they're also desperate to get people to play comp because no, like it's dying fast. Once it starts going down, it's dying fast, and now they're trying to do anything to keep people interested. Wargaming is considering Fogo War. Yeah, I heard. I mean, it goes to show that after so many years of keeping the same thing, suddenly they're willing to shake things up. We all know why that is. And it's not a good thing. 13 by 4, Blitzes. Okay, I'm actually looking forward to this because Russian brawls, like list of brawls, are generally much more interesting than EU ones, mostly because they're willing to experiment. I don't know why Wargaming still has about this. This is one of those things that Wargaming should just shamelessly copy like adding funny mechanics to brawls i don't know why they don't do it because brawls feel like shitty ranked right now so what is blitz number one seven versus seven tier 10 battleship cruisers and destroyers nice no subs no cvs you can participate with seven. Oh god okay we're not gonna take part in this ship bro they're gonna use it as a qualification for the upcoming king of the seas so people are gonna be non-stop spamming fucking clan battles for this weekend in that shit holy it's gonna be giga sweat that's why it's seven seven man divs holy four versus four on tier eight battleships cruises and destroyers once again no sub no cv the team can have no more than two battleships and two destroyers wait what the fuck 15 percent to ship speed Time to reach maximum speed reduced by 30. The rudder shift time has been reduced by 30. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit. Holy shit, man. See, this is what I mean. This sounds demented, but I want to play it. it. Like, at least it gets the correct reaction out of me. I'm like, yeah, okay, you're out of your minds, but that seems kind of fun. I want to try it. I want to try different chips and see how it goes. Three versus three on tier six battleships, cruisers, and destroyers. You can participate in a squad of up to three people. Okay, no modifier in this one. The fourth, five versus five on tier nine DDs only. Fog of war. Torpedo reload time has been reduced by four times. Torpedo damage reduced by four times. Reload time for main battery guns has been increased by four times. Wait, what the f <laughs> What the fuck? They made it to torpedo just in game mode. No way. Holy shit, they made it to torpedo jousting mode. Yo! Holy shit. So, you're gonna reload fast as fuck, but the damage is much lower. But on the other hand, gunpowder is trash. So it's all about the torps. Dude, that's off. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Why, why does it work if you copy some of this shit? Like, these, these are good ideas, because it's a brawl. It's supposed to be fun. Brawls are supposed to be fun, and they're supposed to be separate from randoms and ranked and so forth. It's supposed to be so, where you can just go do something else. Like, this looks demented. Oh, Jäger. Wait, what's Jäger torpedo reload going to be? 15 seconds. <gasps> but then, on the other hand, uh, your Jäger torp damage being reduced by div divided by four they're gonna do like one damage each 1k damage <laughs> holy but yeah no this looks fun both this thing and this thing looks really fun both of these look really fun I'm looking forward to them okay adding content change tournament king of the seas whoa a new season main esports event, World of Ships, is approaching. <laughs> okay, we want to approach new content? Okay. Permanent camo for battle. Holy shit. Yo, what the fuck? Okay, are they just flexing the hell out of an art department? Wait, there's crew on it as well. There's like soldiers with like armor and spears and shit. Holy fuck. Yo, they're just flexing now. They're just... Imagine having this kind of art department. God damn. That's pretty fucking cool. Is that an eagle? Or that's, that's a bird of some kind. Is it an owl? God damn. Okay, that's really cool. That's, re that's completely weird, but I like it. I think it's really fucking cool. Special Commander Cat Scientist for the Ships of Europe. It's, they're getting animated portraits. Oh, that's so unfair. They're getting animated captains. That's so fucking unfair. I don't understand why, why fucking Wargaming wouldn't invest, like, millions into making animated commanders, and then they collaborate with fucking uh, every weeb game out there, every mobile game out there, like all the Azure lanes and Arknights and all of this, and then they just animate the tits everywhere, and they just fucking swim in money forever. I don't understand why they won't do it. Like, that's infinite money hack right there. Infinite money hack. Imagine collab with Stella, bro. Yeah, imagine collab with Nikka. Holy shit. Bro, infinite money hack right there. Special voice acting has been added. Okay. Hitagami. Whoa. Holy. <laughs> okay. God damn. So they're finally releasing Kitakami in on Russia. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Bright regatta. Oh, the colorful regatta thing? Oh man, that that's, shit is the biggest scam ever though. We had, both servers have had it once, and now it's apparently coming back here. It's like, take three ships, but you pay extra to play them. I mean, it looks okay. 
but it's not nowhere near. This one looks pretty cool as well, but once again, not worth the money at all. Not worth the money at all. Mm. <coughs> How much are people gonna pay for premium Schlieffen? Schlieffen with the money uh, with the money premium modifier. Oh shit. Premium Schlieffen. That's kinda a lot of people are gonna pay for that. That's kinda scary. Okay, they upgrade the containers. Super subs! Yeah. <laughs> no way. 225 years since the birth of Pushkin. Okay. Special commander with voice acting. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> God damn. Okay. 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 Once again, a lot of demented shit, but a lot of really cool shit that I actually want to play. Remind me of this June. We need to play this on June, chat. We need to go and play this, this torpedo jousting shit for sure. That sounds like fun. And we need to check out the new map. When is this patch actually hitting? 13.4. So it's now what 13. What's her? This is EU, but they kind of line up. So we got 13.3 coming out this month. So next month, 13.4. The CLR deal is no longer appealing by virtual player's ability to now purchase permacamos. Probably that too as well. So in two months. Cool, cool. See, once again, it, a lot of demented stuff, but I kind of want to play it. That's that's generally how a dead vlog should look. Okay, let's see. Development blog. Uh, new ships. Okay, here we go. New ships. Once again, a list that dead blog still. We covered the EU dead blogs earlier, but today is a big day of development blogs, so now we're covering the list of dead blogs. Okay, new ships on Russia. Soviet American destroyers of tier 7 to 10. Uh, Soviet cruiser Sherbakov. Sh Sh Sherbakov. French destroyer. <coughs> but have mercy. What the fuck? Chateau. Chateau. Chateau Renault? Chateau. Oh my god, kill me. And the Spanish battleship Conquistador has been added to the game. Jesus. Second branch of American destroyers. An upcoming closed testing session. A second branch of US destroyers. Okay, tier 7 to tier 10. <laughs> the gameplay for beginners will be based on active use of artillery, and they will have a lot of guns. Six at level 8 and eight at level 8 to 10. 127 millimeter guns, high firing range, flat projectile. Yep, these they were doing like a Sherman branch. Sherman branch of gunboats. Mm. Destroyer torpedoes have high damage, but do not have as highest range and take a long time to reload. Newcomers have high speed and good supply of combat to health, aka combat effectiveness that's health, as well as strong air defense, but poor conceal. Wait, another weakness of the branch is extremely modest set of equipment. Only the emerging... Wait, do they only have DCP? What? Can you do this in 2024? Release new ships that only have one consumable. Huh? R I didn't know this was legal. Where's the 15 speed boots and 12 heels and 3 hydros and, and 2 radars and what the fuck? American destroyer Ferret. Hmm. Oh, that's a completely new model, isn't it? Is it? Is it? It looks like a new model. It's two stacks on the DD. What the? Interesting. So, completely new model. Porter class destroyer. Six main twin mounts that literally the ship consider alters. Okay. American Destroyer Hog. This kind of looks like a Benson, almost, in terms of hull. But what, what, it's so elevated, the torpedo, aren't you? Hmm. It's 
looks pretty new as well. Eight guns? Yeah, eight guns. Turret. <coughs> Interesting. That's a lovely model, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Two further leaders Porter class. Okay. While the ship would be equipped, new power plant for Mayhem class destroyers. Interesting. Method. Oh, those turrets. Wait, those look like. What turrets are those? Those look really familiar. 152 millimeter guns. When implementing the project second half 1940s, the most advantageous would be armor ship with experiments of 70 caliber 127. It's Gina. Oh, is it Austin guns? Yeah, it's Austin 127. Man, that thing looks weird. Seventy cal, really long turrets, yeah. That's why they they, they said they have like long flat arcs. Long range and flat arcs, because they're really long turrets. Interesting. So they're actually doing like new models and shit. That's pretty cool. American destroyer Lynch. The end of 1930s, the leadership of the US Navy. 152 million guns. Okay, in March the following year, it changed it. It destroyed a million in 1940s, it would have been advisable to arm it with the new long barreled 127mm guns. Okay. Lynch. Oh shit. That's a. Was that a quad? Sorry, uh, a six double launcher. It looked like it. Interesting. 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 <clears throat> okay, let's see. Parent. 15.3k health at tier 7. Okay. Base range 12.8 at tier 7. HE projectile speed 960 meters per second. But these are still the, the earlier. I wonder what the other ones are going to be like. Uh, 5 second reload on the guns. Nine second turret first. Holy, these are fast. <laughs> Torps 16.5. Huge. Whoa, these things are nuts. These torps are nuts. Oh, but the reload time is 2 minutes 20 seconds. So situational, but still, that's real. That's a lot of alpha. That's a lot of alpha range and speed for tier 7. And good conceal as well. These things are really strong. These are like fucking 8.5 8 gearing torps at like tier 7. Really long reload though, but still. Wait, and he has 5 flak. He has 5 flak at tier 7. Holy shit. It's got 6 km AA range and 5 flak at tier 7. No defensive AA, which is a shame though, because that could make it really fucking strong. Yeah, because it doesn't have any consumables, it just has really high stats then. 36 knot speed with speed speed flag, that's 37, 8. Handles really well. Concealment 7, 4. What's that? 6, 7 with build? About, yeah. 6, 7, 6, 6 with, with concealment. 6, 6 with concealment, I think. Hmm. Mayhem conceal. It's It kind of looks like a better mayhem. But then again, no smoke. It has no consumables. Just got DCP. No, you, so you have to open water in these things. You have to open water gun both of these things. Damn. Interesting. Yeah, it's a it's a Lester tech tree. Hulk. Still, this is still this 127, or the short 16.4 90 millimeter. 13.8 base. Bro, you can get some nutty range on these things. This is this is longer than any tier 10 DD in the game right now, base range. That's really good base range. So the hog. Remember to not squeeze it, chat. Okay, AP. Real time five seconds. Once again, super good turret reverse. 
2 x 4 same torps, kinda, just a bit more range. Really long reload again. Fire chance. Oh yeah, shit, that's fucked. So that's guaranteed. Well, fire flags and... Okay, if low, if the fire chance is low, it also means that any buffs that increase it add exponentially more. Like, if you run a Captain Perk and two flags, you get it to 6%. 4 to 6, 50% increase. So you get more out of them, generally. Seven flak. Six game range, seven flak. God damn. But 36 knots. Seven five concealed. Seven five, seven five. Where does that put me? Seven five. Six one. Six one conceal. That's gonna have a lot of dakka. And you can play con contest and stuff, but it's slow. No saturation. 16-4 isn't a lot of health at that tier. And uh, no way to disengage. No way to disengage. Interesting. Hmm. No way to disengage. More flak than super wooster, yeah. Interesting. Okay, now we get to the long boys. Method. The long boys. 20.6k health. 4x2, 100%. 48 what the fuck so wait if i just build aft on this thing the fuck dd bro that's nuts initial velocity of the he projectile is 1036 meters per second jesus christ i wonder what the air drag is gonna be because the smaller the shell the lighter the shell and the the worse air drag affects it and the more air drag they tend to have as well um we'll see how how much speed they lose but fucking 17.8 came range on a dd good luck hitting this dd from range also this thing is going to be the most frustrating thing ever if you expect your dd to go scout or 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 push or contest caps or anything and he's just fucking sitting next to you farming <laughs> 18 kilometers man what the fuck what the fuck man one point alpha 4.5 second reload. I wonder what kind of duck are these things are. Holy shit. That's the best initial volley of any HHL. Yeah, no, this is insane. 1036 is completely nuts. Giga, giga good uh, reverse again. Basic death charges. Only 9.5k torps though. So you do want to push up if you want to use those. But they have a long cooldown once again, 2 minutes 20. Flak, 8 flak. 6 cam range, 8 flag, 1820 alpha, 38 knots. So speed flag, we do almost 40. Good rudder for, for considering how much of a gunboat we are. 7.9 conceal. Okay, where does that leave us? I think it's 6.4, but let me check. Yeah, 6.4, 6.4. 6 4 conceal. So you can go in and contest things somewhat. Uh, the issue is, of course, the lack of disengage. But most of the time, I feel like you're just going to be non-stop farming in this thing. This seems this seems like free... Like I'm not sure if the damage output is going to be good enough to justify just gunboating, though. I think you have to go in and use the torps, because the fire chance is really trash, and the H-alpha doesn't look that impressive. And 21mm base pen on the H is... But yeah, a spe speed... I feel like if you play it as a mid-range, good luck speed. If it doesn't have like built-in acceleration, good luck speed juking without a speed boost. With no saturation and no heal, any damage you take is really fucking punishing. Like really punishing any damage you take. It seems interesting though. It seems very it com completely different than anything so far, but it seems interesting. Just press Int. Again, in calculator, repeat previous operation. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Oh. 
Mm. Oh my god. Today I learn. Thank you. Git good. Truly, you live up to your name. I just got better at using the calculator. That's incredible. I didn't know that. Holy shit, the technology. I didn't know that. That's insane. Every day is a day of learning, chat. Don't forget. Every day you can get it, you can learn something new. Holy shit. Don't you have a numpad on a keyboard? I do, I do, but I'm so used to just clicking the shit. That's incredible. Okay, Lynch. 23k health. 19k armor. Wait, 15. <laughs> yes. 58. It has Des Moines range base. It has Des Moines base range. It's just AFT and I got fucking Colombo range or something. 19k range just with AFT. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Fire chance is trash, but like this thing is gonna be so obnoxious. Four second reload. Obviously, you build it reload. Obviously, you build Fearless Brawler, because you're just going to be spotted 24-7 anyway. So, so you get the reload down to like 3.2 or something, to begin with. And then, uh, or 3.1. And then if you take some damage, AR kicks in. And you just run around. Farming. Non-stop. Hmm. It has gearing HEDPM exactly. See, that's not very impressive, though. That's not very impressive. Gearing HEDPM is not very impressive. Gearing HEDPM with dog shit fire chance and no pen is pretty junk. I'm curious, though, how strong the AP is going to be. Because this AP shell velocity, I wonder if you can sit at a light cruiser. You probably can, but at what ranges? Generally, though, uh, light shells with this much shell velocity have pretty good pen. So I, w I wonder like, how much you can smash the cruisers and stuff in it. Because you got to remember, this chance of fire, 4%. You're, if you're shooting a tier 10 ship, they were talking 2%. You're shooting a super ship, we're talking, what, 1.7% or something. So, your chance of starting a fire is really, 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 really shit. Hmm. We'll see. We shall see. Corpse, 10.5, 66. Okay, 2 minute 40 second cooldown. You heavy price to pay for the extra range, but you got oh you got twelve torps though two x six interesting twelve torps, AA, eight flak goddamn, base speed thirty nine, seven sixty, pretty good handling though six four conceal, interesting and only the only fucking consumable is once again, PCP. Hmm. Hmm. What a weird lineup of ships. I absolutely want to play these things. I want to play. I, I don't know if they're going to be good or bad because I, I don't know. Like, this is one of those... I'm not sure. On one hand, they can be really obnoxious because you're, like, infinity range DD and non-stop farming. On the other hand, if you get run at by an enemy destroyer, you're fundamentally like an enemy gunboat, an enemy actual destroyer runs at you you don't have a way to escape you don't have a heal you don't have a smoke and your dpm isn't really that impressive because gearing numbers in 2024 isn't that impressive so and the pin isn't that good either so if something like a regnar for example jumps you uh, at seven and a half eight like it doesn't even need radar you because you're probably shooting 24 7 anyway he's going to outrade you really hard i think and if something some close range, like a small and jumps you, he's going to smash you. Plebear Reload Bush is going to fucking smash you. Hmm. 
Like most gunboats, I feel, are, are going to absolutely eat this thing alive. I'm thinking, I'm thinking you're going to be, but then you're going to be sitting like, where are you going to be sitting? Behind your battleships farming? <laughs> it's such a dumb mechanic. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Bro, hold it. Okay. Sh Soviet cruiser Shebarkov. Okay, Shebarkov. What the fuck is this? Shebarkov. Hmm. Is this a... Is this a new model again? No, is it? Is this also a new model? I can't recognize it. What ship is this? Is it Kutuzov? It might be Kutuzov. That's probably Kutuzov, yeah. I, I doubt they would do a new model just for a premium, right? It can't... Yeah, it does kind of have the hull of the Kutuzov, but the guns on the sides, what are those? Hmm. New stuff on the hull. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's like, I think the hull might be Kutuzov. Yeah, let's see. Um, with new quad 45 millimeter installations. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Lead on the Leningrad. The ship is armed with 1,252mm main battery guns. The peculiarity is the presence of HE and SAP shells. Okay. 12 came torps as well. High visibility, weak armor, vulnerable citadel. Smoke, though. Okay, so you got DCP, smoke, and heal. Holy. What tier was it? Tier 9. Okay, it's tier 9. It's tier 9, Kutuzo. It's tier 9, SAP Kutuzo. Almost. That model does look kind of... Let me let me check. I don't want to be talking out of my ass. Where is that photo? So? Let's change exterior. Mm. It is... Wait, it's from this angle? It is the same superstructure. It is the same superstructure. This is all just very diff. This is different. Secondaries and are they? Yeah, they are. These are doubles. Those are quads. The turrets are kind of identical. I think. I think they're identical turrets. Just more of these modernized things, and this is modern. It's it's like a modernized Kutuzov. Implying Kutuzov wasn't already very modern. <laughs> Let's see. Combat efficiency, 42.4k health. Shit, 25 military. 43, firing range 90. But didn't Kutuzov have like 18.9? Or do I misremember? No, 91. Holy. <laughs> Why does Kutuzov... Okay, whatever. Light cruiser, by the way. HE. Looks like standard HE. And SAP. 19km... Light sap. Yeah, ten second reload. What's the reload on this thing? Eight. That's a fucking nerf and a half. You can run reload module because it's tier nine, which gives you eight point eight. That's still a nerf though. That's ten percent nerf. <coughs> okay. Faster traverse though. Range DSW. 2x5 torps. 15k torps. 12k range. 65. Really good torps actually. Hold it. Very stealthy and really fast torps. Only one 5 set per side though. Still very good ones. Um, secondaries. 7km secondaries. 100mm guns. Okay. They're not going to do too much. AA though. 8 flak. 8 flak with 5.8 range, 32.7 speed, fuck it, slow, good rudder, terrible turning circle, 13-1 conceal, 13-1, chat now I know, new trick, 10.6 conceal, okay, 10.6 conceal, yeah, 
DCP heal. Looks like standard heal. You only get two of them base. Mm. 6.5 is really good on a cruiser. I agree. Uh, and the smoke. Looks like 97 seconds. Not that good of a smoke. Pretty standard smoke. Interesting. So, it looks like a Kutuzov that pays a pretty heavy sap tax, but by in terms of reload, you go from 8 to 10, which is a pretty brutal 25% nerf in DPM. But on the other hand, you do get a heal and just. And you don't. You generally. You're not losing the HC, you're losing the AP. And the Kutuzov AP is not something you really use that much. What is the smoke fund penalty on it? Swiss ability theft just shot the smoke six. Wait, 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 wait. That's not fair. This Kultus of Avis 7.7 came smoke fine, consider not. They standardized that. Oh, yeah, they did. They changed that on fucking Russia. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. They changed that on Russia. Gotta remember, gotta remember. I forgot about that. Like all light crews have six game now, yeah. That's a big buff for fucking Kutuzov. And for this thing. Interesting. We'll see how it plays. H hard to call. Like, you're losing a fair bit of DPM, but you get heal. You get a bit of health, you get heal, you get better torps, and you get the sap. Okay, French destroyer Chateau Renault. Holy, whoa, this thing looks modern. What the fuck? Jesus, this thing looks modern. Wait, what are the torps? They're on the bow? The torps were both on two sets on the bow, on both sides. This is a, is this a new model? No, this is a, it. This is a regular remodel or something. What the fuck is this thing? What does Regola look like? No, it's comp it's very remodeled. It's very remodeled. Only the hull, only the hull really is the same. Th this part of the hull. This is already completely different, and the entire superstructure is different. So only really the base hull is the same on the regular. It's a real ship? Cool. At the World War II, the Italian light cruiser Attilio Regolon was transferred to France as reparations and renamed Chateau Renault. In 1951-54, the ship underwent a major overhaul and modernization while it was reclassified as a destroyer. At the end of the 1950s, Chateau Renault was converted into a command ship serving as the headquarters of the flotilla. Okay. Destroyers armed with 605 mm main battery guns in three turrets, two of which are located in the stern. Main battery is equipped with SAP and AP shells and has low damage per minute. A special feature of the ship is its torpedo ships. All four are located in the bow. Yeah, they're all here. Uh, and are equipped with torpedoes that can be rotated after launch, thanks to which they have very convenient launch angles along the ship's path so wait you can launch straight forward holy shit torpedoes have average damage range and reload time good speed but also high visibility holy shit yo what is this thing ah the combat effectiveness in different parts of the ship is distributed in a special way Thanks to which Chateau Renault receives less damage to the hull, like pumped up destroyers of France. Pumped up. <laughs> That's the correct translation, but the TLDR is it has French saturation as well. So it's Atelier Regolo, clearly modernized, reworked, with forward firing torps and French saturation. Pumped up, hands up. Yo, this thing looks really fucking sleek. That that look how different it is. It's... what the fuck? Okay, I need to get rid of the camera. This is so different now. What? What fucking camera is on it? Off. 
Hitmo is on it. Well. How do I get rid of this camera? What's going on? Is it something here? That's gotta be one of these. There we go. Thank you. Maybe with this with this it's easier to come back. Oh man, it's completely different. So they moved one of the turrets. They removed the turret here. Wait, it's so different. They extended the superstructure here, removed the turret, installed the torpedo launcher. Man, this is almost like a new model. It's so changed. Well, it is basically a new model. It's completely different. It's completely different. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, Chateau Renault. Combat effect 26.8k health. God damn, that's a lot of health. With the HP perk, we're talking over 30k health with French saturation. That's fucking scary. Fix two guns, but only one, two in the front. Or in the back. Okay, got AP and SAP. Five second reload, but with six guns at tier 10, that's probably not going to be very impressive. The SAP pens 30 millimeters though, which means it's going to be pretty good against DD still. Good traverse, basic death charges. Okay, here's the torps 17k torps. 12, and you can launch them forward. Holy shit. Speed 75 knots, real time 96. The torpedoes have terrible spotting range. She must spotting range, basically 1.8. But 75 knot torps, they deal 17k. Yeah, half of Sherman's DPM, yeah. I figured it wasn't going to have too much DPM. But honestly, 30k help with French saturation, this thing is still going to be fucking brutal to deal with. Because it's going to be hard to kill, like a proper cockroach. But this thing running at you. 30k French health and 12 torps on the bow. Bro. What was it? 12,000? Yeah, even a fucking. Like an Ushakov, if it eats at all on the belt, can survive. That's about it. You need. That's a lot of fucking alpha. Will you be able to fire torps on a kite? Probably not. I don't. It's like the angles are probably going to be really shit backwards. <laughs> this is a clown car. Yeah, I like it. Flak is garbage. 5.2 for flak. Maximum speed, 41 knots. 760 circulation. Rudder shift 5. No, what? What is that conceal? What? What is that conceal? Holy shit, what is that? What? Bro, what? Wait, hold on. Uh, well, 41 knot speed. The standard is to be defensive. Okay, it's defensive AA. Interesting. That will make the flag a bit better. Uh, smoke, standard smoke. No speed boost, though. But, like, you're gonna still do 41 with flag. 43. 43 knots. No speed boost. Fucking 43 knots worth of 30k health with French saturation fucking blazing at you and it pops up at 6 kilometers. You see it at 6km. <laughs> and then it's like, shit. You can't even wait for him to turn to torp. Normally you wait for him to turn to torp so you can shoot them and you know when he's torping. Because he's running straight at you, you actually don't know when he's torping. Like, he can torp straight away and you don't know when you need to start evading because he's he doesn't have to... He doesn't need to give away that he's torping in any way. Every other dude in the game has a tell when they're torping. They change their course slightly to get their torp angles. This thing can launch them straight forward, so at no point during his YOLO do you know when he's actually launching the torps. Fucking <laughs> that's demented man. That's actually demented, holy shit. Bro, what the fuck? 
You know, ASW is a joke, but so is most ASW in the game, so whatever. Holy fuck, this is certainly a development blog of all time. Jesus Christ. Spanish Battleship Conquistador. Okay, that's a name and a half. Let's see what the ship looks like if it gave it the name like that ship. It better be fucking impressive. Is that quad guns? <laughs> it's not... <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh my god, is that quad guns? That's quad guns. Oh no. Holy, what the fuck is that? So 12 guns. 3x4. It's not a Colombo, because it only has one turret in the back. Giga Lepanto? Might be. <laughs> okay, Conquistador. The Francois government strengthened ties with Italy. Yeah, 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 okay. Italian design, Ansaldo developed. Okay, Lepanto. Similar to Lepanto, there are similarities. 12 guns uses HNAP. Alternate firing mode. It allows you to fire two salvos with a break of 10 seconds. Followed by a reload of 50. In addition, the Spaniards' AP shells have higher armor pen than those of the Lepanto. Burst fire BB. 10 second cooldown now. So not instant, but still. Holy shit, that's fucking terrifying. Burst fire BB. The battleship has a high level of protection in HE shells and good anti tank protection, AP protection, and has a bow armor belt. At the same time, as low reserve combat effectiveness. It has DCP, heal, and spotter. Okay. Conquistador. God damn. So how different is this from the Lepanta? I'm actually curious because uh, they actually do new models on, on, on Lesta, which makes it cool to like look at what all they change. Wait, not tier 10. Lepanta is tier 9. Which camo is it that I have equipped? I'm gonna just equip this thing. There we go. Very similar. Very small changes, I'd say. I would say almost identical. This one is pretty lazy. The EA mounts have changed. Yeah, these guns are completely different, and so are these. But generally, this is probably the least. This is nothing like the Renault thing. That's a that's a French car and a half. Holy shit! And the turrets are turrets as well. Are they? Uh. Okay. For the 6 pin torpedo belt, 75.9k health, firing range 20.4, HE 8 Yeah, okay, so extra good AP pen. Sigma 1.8. Two salvos with 10 second reload. Plane based ASW. Secondary is 7.3. 7.3? Hmm. Probably not gonna pin too much on those though. Unless it's like uh depends on what kind of if German secondaries? I don't know, but you don't get the you don't get the be pen benefit anyway. Flak 5.2, that's junk. Oh wait, wait, tin flak. Tin flak! God, they're actually giving AA to a lot of these ships. Holy. Tin flak on a fucking BB. God damn. It gets Italian dispersion, not standard dispersion. What do you mean? Isn't Italian dispersion gone ages ago? I'm pretty sure Italian and German dispersion doesn't exist anymore. They standardized that they all to a same formula like four years ago or something. It has more secondary guns than leave them. Does it really? But I don't think it gets a benefit. I don't think it gets a benefit of the Schlieffen. Because Schlieffen is German. 
which means it gets improved penetration. And, and this one, it doesn't, I don't think this one gets that benefit. Yeah, they, they have been cooking. Let's see, 29.5, turning to 910s. Pretty bad rudder, but, but I mean, it's pretty standard battleship to repair. 16.6, not the best. Um, oh yeah, the new smoke firing penalty on Russia is demented. They're, they're, aren't they standardizing it to 12 for BBs? That's going to be a fucking experience. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Thirteen four can see up thirteen five. Interesting. Emergency repair spotter. Hmm. God damn. Honestly, burst fire BB sounds hilarious though. Especially because they they talked about in the other devlog how they were changing the way the burst works, and that was Lesta, wasn't it? They were changing the way the burst works on Lesta so that you can aim it better. So you can aim between every shot. So you can like click, adjust in, click, and you got two 12 gun volleys on the way to the target in 10 seconds. That's pretty brutal. Okay. Commemorative flag for Shabirko with Shadrano and and Conquistador. In a also added to the game it is its own model for the cruiser Toliatte. Interesting. I'll use. Its own model, huh? So wait, they made a new model for it? Hmm. I feel like they're kind of flexing, just having an art department. To be fair, Wargaming did add some nice camos recently. Like the ones for the Dunkirk thing? Those were cool. Obviously, they're not, not quite up to the level of adding new maps and new models like Let's Start doing, but still, it's a step in the right direction. Hmm. Interesting. Into the dusting. God damn. Holy shit, that was a little fucking doublings. 